Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Sahar from the National Right to Housing Network and I will be your moderator for today's session. Uh, I am calling in from Alliston, Ontario, which is the ancestral territory of the Haudenosaunee, the Huron-Wendat, Chippewa, Ojibwe, and many other Anishinaabeg peoples. And I'm very excited to be moderating our session today on effective services for addressing Indigenous homelessness. But before we begin, I'd just like to remind all participants that if you have any questions for our various presenters today, there will definitely be an opportunity for them to address those at the end of their presentations. Just be sure to put your questions in the Q&A box or function on this digital platform that we're using. If you put your questions in the chat function instead of the Q&A function, it may not be addressed because the chat is not being monitored. So just be sure to put your questions in the right spot and we look forward to a really lively discussion. Now with that, I will get into the biographies of our wonderful presenters today. So our first presentation will be on Indigenous housing stability, a path forward. And this is being presented by three people. The first of which is Nick Falvo, who is a Calgary based research consultant with a PhD in public policy. He is also Editor-in-Chief North America of the International Journal on Homelessness, and for four years he worked as Director of Research and Data at the Calgary Homeless Foundation. He has also worked for 10 years in the frontline space directly with persons experiencing homelessness. Our second presenter is Martina Jilakova, the CEO of Horizon Housing Society, and Martina is passionate about their mission to provide affordable homes to those in need to build welcoming and safe, inclusive communities. With 20 years of experience in the real estate sector, Martina now works as co-chair of the Community Housing Affordability Collective, also as chair for the Open Doors Conference and member of the Calgary Local Immigration Partnership Council and the Aboriginal Standing Committee on Housing and Homelessness. Our final presenter is Richard Horvath, who is the program director, or rather program coordinator, of the Rainbow Lodge program at Métis Calgary Family Services. And he has previously worked as Aboriginal Cultural Director at the Calgary Catholic School Board. Very interesting stuff. And our second presentation is on the collaborative efforts to provide services to Yukon First Nations experiencing homelessness and complex needs. And we have two presenters leading this, the first of which is Shadell Chambers, who is a member of the Champaign and Ashihak First Nations in Yukon. With an MBA in Aboriginal Business and Leadership from Simon Fraser University, Shadell has dedicated her career to advancing the interests of self-governing First Nations in Yukon including her own First Nation, where she has also served as counselor. Shadell is the executive director for the Council of Yukon First Nations, a nonprofit organization dedicated to improving the lives and outcomes of Yukon First Nations people through advocacy and advancement of Yukon First Nations final and self-government agreement. Shadell will be presenting alongside Mark Miller, who has been the CEO of the John Howard Society Pacific for the last five years, which operates a continuum of programs and services for people experiencing complex barriers across BC and Yukon. The JHSP serves over 3,500 people per year and employs 300. Having held senior roles for over 10 years in the nonprofit sector, Mark has led substantial renovation projects, has increased funding for strategic priorities, and has managed significant internal organizational changes, including the expansion of CLBC funded services and expansion in the Prince George region and in Yukon territory. Very exciting. So with that, I will now welcome Nick, Martina, and Richard to start our first presentation. And again, be sure to put in any questions that you have into the Q&A function, and they will certainly uh, try to address those at the end of their presentation. Enjoy.